Hello everybody and welcome to Read the Principal Lindner. Today we're going to do an old Ojibwe story called The Legend of the Beaver's Tale. Here we go. I hope you like it. Long ago, Beaver did not look like he does now. Yes, he was a chubby fellow. And yes, he had two very large front teeth. But his tail was not wide and flat. Beaver's tail was thick with silky fur. Look at my glorious tail, Beaver said to Bird. I'll bet you wish you had one like this. Bird said, Beaver, it is a fine tail, but truly all I wish for is a cozy nest for my family. Beaver ignored Bird. He fluffed and plumped his tail as Bird flew off to hunt for twigs and leaves. See how this tail looks different? This tail is the tail to end all tails. Beaver said to Deer, I bet you wish you had one like this. Deer said, Beaver, it is a fine tail, but truly all I wish for is some tender grass for my family to eat. Beaver ignored Deer. He brushed his tail on one side and then the other as Deer left to forage for food. I'm just saying, said Beaver to Fish, this tail of mine is absolutely the most magnificent tail a creature could have. I'll bet you wish you had one like this. Fish leaped from the water and said, Beaver, it is a fine tail, but truly all I wish for is calm and warm water to rest in. Beaver ignored fish, and fish struggled on through the icy water as Beaver looked at his own reflection. He turned round and round, trying to catch a glimpse of his glorious tail. Hmm, said Beaver. How rude. I think my friends are jealous of this beautiful tail of mine, and he waddled off to gnaw on a log. Autumn turned to a shivery winter, and Beaver lumbered through the woods and then began to have a good chew on the trunk of a large tree. Every now and then he would stop to turn in circles around the trunk. In this way he could chase his tail and give it yet another admiring look. Chew, chase, look. Chew, chase, look. Beaver was so caught up in this game he did not notice a tree creaking and teetering back and forth as he chipped away at its base. What do you think is going to happen? Crash! Smash! Beaver's fluffy, beautiful, glorious tail was trapped beneath the massive fallen tree. Beaver tugged and pulled. When he finally got his tail out, it was no longer fluffy, beautiful, or glorious. What do you think happened to his tail? Oh, my tail, moaned Beaver. And he sat and cried himself into a huge puddle of salty tears. But no one heard his cries or came to comfort him. And it was when Beaver stopped crying for the loss of his glorious tail that he cried harder and longer for the loss of his friends. As time passed, Beaver kept very busy to take his mind from his loneliness, where he carefully felled the trees tender grass grew, where he dragged the branches to the water, tiny leaves and twigs littered the forest floor, and where he built a dam 
the water slowed and became warm. What do you think? Is he helping his friends? In the spring, the animals returned. They watched Beaver perfectly balanced on his new tail as he chewed the tree bark. When he swam to the shore to greet them, his tail was a rudder, guiding him straight and true. And when he wanted to make an announcement, he slapped the water, making a loud sound. Have you ever heard a beaver slap their tail in the water? It is loud. I am ashamed that I only talked about myself, said Beaver. Your friendship is important to me. Please stay. Beaver said, Dear, you have made the grass plentiful for my family. You are a good friend. Of course I will stay. And my family can nest with the twigs and the leaves you have scattered, said Bird. The dam you built slowed the water and made a pool, said Fish. I can rest and be warm. Thank you, Beaver. And that new tail of yours is amazing, said his friends. We wish we had tails like that. Thank you, said Beaver. He looked back at his tail. It was wide, flat, and furless. It really was quite glorious. I hope you enjoyed that story today. I look forward to reading you a new story next week. If you like that story, go and uh, click subscribe on the bottom of the page and like this story. We'll see you next time.